one, two, three, four is already on. So right now we are live. Let me see if I set my camera outside. Uh, I will be able to project. Yeah, we able to project you. We able to project you. Uh, whoever as well on that one. <coughs> so let's say um, welcome. In fact, I want to use uh, on the Max uh, K uh, Proof uh, Live Area uh, platform. Let me say welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, stay in Liberia. Uh, of course, it's all about Mama Liberia as well. Uh, wherever you are, uh, let me say welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you can also share the um, share the live feed uh, so that you can invite somebody. We're talking about Liberia. We're talking about you know our own interest, our common interest, which is Liberia. Today in Liberia, for those of you that don't know, uh, perhaps you've forgotten your. Uh, maybe your you know important history in terms of holiday. Today is National Unification Day in Liberia. Yes, it is, it's been celebrated here as a national holiday for the United Kingdom. It's like a bank holiday where we don't go to work, no bankers, no, bank, no business or so. So yeah, it's national holiday. And what a good day to talk about unification. What a good day to talk about Mama Liberia. What a good day to bring you know um, a school of uh, young intellects together to talk about their own country and so I'm right here in my own area that I grew up in as a child uh, Snapper Hill um, that's atmosphere Snapper Hill and uh, I have uh, with me great gentlemen already uh, they are all seated as well and we'll be talking about Liberia but we want to start with perhaps um, maybe the unification uh, issue because uh, we're talking about unification, right? Uh, what are the dreams of President William R. Trotman? Uh, actually, you know, was uh, is, is still alive. Let, let me put it that way. If the dream, if those dreams are still alive, we remember, I remember history. I was told in history that this particular dream came about. Uh, it was launched in Vanjima, uh, my own uh, my own capital city, Lofa County, in Vanjima, um, uh, to bring about. Uh, to bring unity among Liberian people also. So even you that are watching right now, uh, you can you can give your own uh, your own supporting you know um, statement with respect to how you feel, feel about this day. Um, you know, once upon a time I was discussing about um, holidays, and I, I, I asked the question whether you know there's a need to either bring some holidays together or either get rid of some of them completely because. Uh, it's a waste of time and it's a waste of a um, lot of resources, money as well, that we're losing too much because we've got too many holidays. So some of you, you had a good discussion and you, you participated as well. So it's a blessed, blessed, blessed day from here, from Atmos Street, uh, we just right opposite the French Cable, uh, the building that used to be referred to as the French Cable, but it's now a real business registry. Let me start off, first of all, with my right, uh, my another intellect. Uh, sitting on my, left, on my right here, he's going to introduce himself. And some of you who perhaps will see him all the way there in Canada and say, Oh, another brother, so, so you can say hi to him as well. Right, so, bro, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, I think it's afternoon now. Good afternoon. Yeah, yeah good afternoon, and uh, Mass mm -hmm. Good afternoon to the people of Liberia, and good afternoon to those are watching online. Name? I'm, I'm Francis Fala Moses. I am a member of the Snapple Hill Social Intellectual. Organization Amadou Ataibo, Michelle Shoah. It's a pleasure meeting you. Chairman Emeritus and the current Chairman of the National Organization Liberia. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Chairman Emeritus and the current Chairman of the National Shoah Election Commission. Wow, it's a, it's, it's a pleasure meeting you. <coughs> uh, let me welcome distinguished ladies. Normally I, I do welcome people on my platform by on a distinguished uh, manner. Uh, Honorable Julia Duncan Cassetti, former Minister of Gender, welcome on the, on the platform, ma'am. As you say, always on the platform, my platform, so welcome. And uh, let me go to another gentleman. We're gonna, we have, I think, four guys here. Uh, the others are on the platform as well. Good, morning, good afternoon, brother. How are you doing? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Papio. Happy, uh, how do you call it, unification day to you as well. It's okay. Thank you. Welcome. Tell us your name. Introduce yourself to our people. My name is Tatas Maritova. I'm a member of the new institution. Coronel Biden for Vice President position. Uh, we are very happy to celebrate it here, to see our past president being late. Uh, welcome everybody watching us, America, Canada, everywhere. Thank you. We're going to go. Let me see if I can switch the camera around again and go to our brother there. Uh, 
If you can just tell us your name as well and just introduce yourself to our wonderful brothers and sisters. Well, thank you for your platform. I am Jixin Gao Freeman, member of this center where you are broadcasting from. I'm happy to be on your platform and to discuss at least what is necessary at this point in time. Especially about Yet, all right, we're back. There's no fiber optic yet, so we just got to bear with it. The, the power of the uh, internet to it. That's why you see it off and trying to come back. Let me go switch over. Um, not even that somebody that is strange, a classmate, a former classmate of mine, of course, and we grew up together. Good afternoon, brother, and welcome. Let's see if we can introduce yourself to our wonderful people. Good afternoon, my brother. And we are Edward Sawui. Happy Unification Day, fellow Liberians. Those are in Liberia, abroad, and so they are. They are welcome to the platform. Now, uh, this is it. Today, Unification Day in Liberia. Let me see, okay, if I have the two is that way, three of us are going to be in it. And then, if you guys will come a little bit closer to get as well. So, I would, yeah, good. Now, um, let's start with the Unification Day, this particular day. Um, I know uh, some of us uh, maybe read civic or history about it. So, well, my understanding is that it was established um, by William Maratoba. Totman, it was actually Totman, uh, in Benjamin. Um His idea was, uh, an idea was, was to bring the people together. Um, that wherever, you know, we have, whatever difference we have as people of Liberia, we should always come under the power of our heart to uh, resolve it. But personally, to you, as far as his dreams are concerned, uh, what are your personal thoughts about this National Unification Day? First of all, do you actually accept that it should be celebrated nationally as a national holiday where we all stay at home? Well, thank you again for accepting me on your platform and also those that are watching from viewing and uh, the essence of the National Unification Day is to bring Liberians together. And the unification monument is built in our own county and our own capital, Vonjama. I think uh, when our top saw this vision that uh, we have to be united as a country in order to forge ahead or in order for us to commute with other countries around the globe. And during that time, he felt that uniting the people it's a very brilliant and good idea because when people are united, they will have a common front. But when people are divided, they will have diverse of ideas, and these ideas will break them apart and even lead them into chaos. So, on this note, he found it very, very important and it was less later. Today, it has been celebrated almost 100 plus years. And as you all are aware, unification. Day is very, very important in our country, Liberia. Uh, but for the contemporary Liberia, we found ourselves. Uh, one will have another view that I, I do not have school fees to pay for my daughter. Uh, I'm going to bear hungry, and prices are hiking. In how do we uh, unite or how do we unify? That is the irony. Mm -hmm. But. In another verse, even at that, we have to come together as Nigerians to, to solve these problems that we are faced with. The problem we are faced with is not only the president or the legislature, but it is a holistic problem. Sometimes we, the commoners, or even those that are being fully employed, or people that work with, with the private and public sector, we ourselves we have our own role to play as a nation builders. But, on the contrary, we look at government to be the one that can unite the country. And like as I said, even at the center where we are alive, we, we, we have a mandate as intellectuals, as Liberians, as committed brothers, to make sure we come together, we speak in one direction, those issues that we feel that being happy our country 
in those issues that we are even faced with currently, we are obligated to see how we can add our voices to the other voices to see how these issues can be resolved. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we're there. Um, let's let's see whether we can uh, balance it. The few as well in terms of time. Okay, let me go to Willie uh, first and I will come back to you and then go to uh, We're talking about National Unification Day, uh, Mr. So really, uh, as far as this day is concerned, to you, what is your own personal view about it? Um, yeah. It's good, but our leaders making all this for free. Pass our needs here, actually. You mean past and present leaders? I just say past and present leaders. We are making some of us, you know, to feel bad about this day. In what sense in, now? In the sense that they're giving you holiday. Yeah, Stay home. Yeah, yeah, Don't go to work. So it mean anything. We ourselves, the hairs are not doing anything for us to say, you know, we are, you are my set. I'm going to be unified today to celebrate this day peacefully. Why all of they are the hair? They look at the owner, they put it going to bed. So what I didn't get transportation to even send their children to school. Some of them are doing nothing. Some of them they are now working. Okay? These are some of the things that they bring confusion. How will you be unified when you are going to bed with hunger? How will you be unified when your children are not in school? Okay? How will you celebrate those kind of days? Well, that that one, 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 that you should still go and sit down on the Palava Hall and we saw some problems. These are some of the things that are making most of our brothers and sisters now, you know, and today we just feel, even though we just take this day to be a national unification day, a child of it. So it would say now, um, uh, should we continue to, to celebrate, to commemorate this day? Uh, what would you do? What would you say? Uh, would you scrap it out of the national holiday? Or? Left for me, we should scrap it out. Let's just have one holiday. Unification day, all those holidays and the president days. You just have one president day. Just forget about all those holidays. Okay, <laughs> we will we'll come deep into that. Uh, his well, view there. Day, I didn't see nothing special. So they're not happy us. Oh, Mr. Okay, Willie. Hmm. All right. Let me come to you. Um, this is it. Yo, it's a diverse view, and uh, this is quite make, make it quite unique in terms of the topic we're discussing. National Unification Day is today. It's a national holiday. They give it to you, say, but they don't work. They eat. Or maybe if you have difference, they go on the Palama or they sort it out. What is your view? Thank you very much. You see, one may ask this question, what was the intent of declaring the day as a national holiday? This came to be 1960. It was passed in the legislation in 1960, so this is 59 years since mm -hmm. 1960 okay. that we have been observing this day. This we have some ups and down since 1990 to 1996 where we could actually observe this day. But when Chancellor took over as President of the Republic, we started to observe it. So my initial statement or question is that what was the intent of this day? And one may say because we're divided quote unquote from the minds of President Tottenham we were divided. So in order to bring us together, we gotta to set a, a specific day aside that we can observe as our national unification day. But the question is this day, are we observing it as national unification day? My question will say no. My answer will say no. For one part is that why are we still observing National Unification Day if, if it is true that we are together? Why are we celebrating it? Why are we still celebrating? It's, it tells me that we are totally well, divided. This is why every year we, uh, we observe, because when you observe, every year when you observe a day, especially a vacation day, it means that we still have in mind that well, we are divided. So we've got to come together on every May 14th. So that's a civil problem. It is a very civil problem. We are divided than ever before. Liberia alone had 11 holidays. Just this small country called Liberia had 11 holidays. The United States of America had 35 holidays that was there every year. 35 in Liberia had 11 holidays. And one of the best holidays we have in Liberia was over the unification day. But are we observing it? I can remember this president, Ambassador Weir, 22th unification day. 
He was celebrated at the Providence Island. At that time, he was still a peace ambassador for, for the United Nations, while still political leader of the CDC. Yeah. There was nobody that went there to observe this day. He didn't send anybody to observe this day. And one of those who wrote on Facebook and said that, I, I don't understand. You cannot be a peace ambassador and this day has been set aside to bring like brother to girl and he say some of the things that proceed for you. It's, it's bad for us. This is just a mockery of this day. But we're not observing as as like living. It's a civil mockery. And anything that you make mockery out of is useless. It's useless. This day is a very good day for us. But are we observing it as like living? And what are, why are we still observing unification day? If it is too quote unquote that we are together. So it's useless. For me, it's just useless. It's just a waste of time. So because we lost the concept, uh, we lost the, the, the value of it. Uh, to you personally, that there should be no, there's no, no need for all the The intent of this is to bring us together. Yeah. It's to bring us together, but we are divided ever, ever before. We are pretending that we are together. Now we, 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 we stay home eh? yeah. to observe this day. Yeah. But are we together? Are we observing it as like Liberian? Or I mean like Liberians? No! It's a civil mockery. Civil mockery of this day. It's a civil mockery. We are not living the dream of uh, the lip, uh, 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 The intent of this, the movement is in Lofa County. Yeah. Who have gone there? Has the, has the government sent anybody there? To go and observe the day. Send few people in Lofa County where the movement is being built. Did the government, have the government sent anybody there? Because it's all derived from what they mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and yeah. passed in the legislature in 1960. Has the government sent, if you ask questions, the government has not sent a single soul day in Lofa County at that movement. Few yes. group of people are leaders. Yeah, Commemorate the day. Yeah. But everybody got up right here because we have a protest coming June 7th. They all back already, the bourgeoisie. Making market of us. The day is not observed. It's market of this day. Well, it's a advice we will get in here. We're talking about the unification day in Liberia. Uh, it's a national holiday and also, uh, well, it's supposed to be an, an interesting day that my brothers, all of them, have said here. Yeah, uh, a day that we all supposed to just. Uh, uh, in terms of commemorating it, that means you have the blueprint being worked on very, very well. And when we come on this day, it's something that we're just supposed to evaluate ourselves and how we can move forward. But let me get another view from my brother. Um, back to you. Unification Day in general, what is your own personal perspective? What is your personal perspective and your thoughts on that? Thank you, Mr. Fakio. Like I said before, my name is Maritowa. Past President William Maritowa said it before already. So it's a challenge for all we, the young generation, uh, to make it our details to celebrate it. Even when we're having differences, we must still know that we're having a uh, unification that will unify us. And no, like my brother on the right hand said, uh, United we stand, divided we fall. Yeah. So on this day, we do all remember that we are together and we are united. Yes, by our differences. Mm -hmm. In the kind of contemporary world that we live in, most especially our society, we always catch tough time when it comes to uh, problems in our very homes. But we can stay divided. Mm -hmm. we, we should be able to come home and part of our house. We discuss our country, we will be the matter, and our differences will be on the front come over. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, let me guess uh, what my brother Jackson said. You know, it's a good thing, but I day for we him, for him to say we shouldn't celebrate it, they know we will be killing our past president. Okay. So, we should always remember the day. Guess what, government in air or you get the 100%. Hey, no, exactly. Uh, government are not saying nobody there. No, yeah. government is everywhere. You got the president for that local county, that is superintendent. So, it's possible people are celebrating. Well, why the why the, it's possible, you, you can oh. also guess it, but why the president saying that this is, this is a, a day that was set by a president? And so, whoever president that comes in on this day, it should be publicized that even if the president is not going to be at that particular point, but it should be publicized that there is a fabulous program going ahead. Students will be out, you know, churches will be together, people from the mosque will be together. But he's saying that, you know, it, it lost the taste. We have lost the taste of national unification there. The taste still remains because all over the country, people are observing it. Even people are doing their farm work. You see that everybody put their products in their. 
you know, what the material down to celebrate it. So the happiness of this day is still going on. You know, we as young people, we should get remember that there's a unification day. So now, uh, thank you, Chris, for sharing. Um, let me come back to my brother. Uh, you, you, when you talk about unification, and first of all, you, you also have to tie in with what? Reconciliation and peace. Um, have, have, you, have, have, you, have you sensed that um, we have reconciled with each other? Because what, what I see on social media, especially during the election period up to this point, I mean, we are still coming for people that are, we are truth at each other. Sometimes even on the radio, we attack each other. Are we, are we done enough in terms of reconciliation? Um, how we can actually inter, inter, intertwine it with this day, reconcile with this day? I think re reconciliation like Nero, uh, is a major challenge. Uh, even the former president of uh, Excellency Madame Eddie Johnson Salih tried to reconcile us, but uh, yet it, it did not, you know, uh, come to a coalition, mm -hmm. and even the, the even of the current, the what the other uh, speaker spoke about, we, we we still have a problem of reconciliation. Yes, we we only pretend that we are together, but yet we are not together. A country of a uh, let's say a population of people of a maximum five million people will always have a problem and. You have a huge population, like 100 or 60 or 70 million people always coming to your aid. Then it means that you still have some internal conflict that you need to resolve within. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, today, uh, I see or I sense a good uh, approach of reconciliation for the president with respect to uh, the guys that want to stage the June 7th demonstration. Mm -hmm. uh, he feels that in his own wisdom, it is. I according to our constitution, it is their, their right to demonstrate wherein when they are disenchanted. But I think looking at the, the, the current situation, I think he is own wisdom. He said no. I think we, we need to call the guys on the drawing table to discuss, to hear from them what what they are disenchanted of. Mm -hmm. So I think for me it's a good approach, and I hope that uh, whatsoever that will come from that meeting. It should be fruitful and it should be in the interest of the country. For me, my exception about issues about Liberia is Liberia first. Because if any good thing comes out of Liberia, we all will work. benefit and we all will make happen. Even the generation that will succeed us will say yes, indeed, this generation did well. But if anything bad also happens, all of us it will have an effect, you know, effect to us. So all of this issue uh, is good, but on a real note, we have not yet been reconciled. Because if you listen to the, if you listen to the, uh, Liberians on the social media, on the print and in the print media, how they laugh at each other on previous issue or on issues that we can sit and discuss to have a common front. It, People will sometimes we go personal, or sometimes people will even uh, uh, vent at people because you you speak of your mind. And to me, I think it's wrong. We we we, we need to ready, 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 see how we can reconcile. Let people have their free will to speak out, and let people also know that when you speak out, you should always there will be a checkpoint to what to checkmate you. Yeah. So. With the issue of reconciliation, it's very, very, uh, you know, essential for us now because if we are not, if we are not together, everything we say we discuss on the table, it will fall on the sword that will not yield fruit. So I think the president has to put his feet down, and and other stakeholders they have to put their feet down with respect to reconciliation. If we are reconciled, other issues that we are faced with, we will not, we will not be confronted with them. But if we are not reconciled, this issue will continue to come out because people will have uh, mixed feelings. Certain seg segment of the society will feel that they are they have been isolated, and the other segment feel that they, they are the one that should make decisions without consulting others. So for me, I think these are issues we need to look at critically because okay. most time when I say they try to reflect on Liberia some 30, 25 years back and look at Liberia where she is. Uh, I, I feel that we need to be reconciled, but in in order, uh, 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 Frank, uh, for me, I still have hope because Liberia is 
it is the only problem that we have. If we give up on Liberia, then it means that we ourselves will, will give on our life. Okay. So I encourage all Liberians, even in your lanes and those that are watching and listening, I think reconciliation is a very, very is essential issue for all of us. Let me come to you, brother. Um, reconciliation, I mean, what we're talking about today is um, unification. But then, you, I mean, you can't leave reconciliation or peace, you know, discussing peace out of uh, unification. I mean, are we where we're supposed to be in terms of reconciliation as people of Liberia? <laughs> that is a good question. You see, that always told people we have two types of torturing hmm? to torture someone. We have the physical torture and the mental torture. Mm -hmm. hmm? Physical torture is for individual to individual. When you are being tortured, one individual is being tortured. But mental torture affects almost the entire country or an organization. The economic, the economic problem in this country now is a severe mental torture. Until we can solve these problems, until we can solve these problems, we find, find it difficult to reconcile. One, if I left my house in the morning and I went out to first for my daily meals mm -hmm. and I get it that day and get it sincerely, hmm, I will reconcile right there. But if I left my house in the morning and got into the street and got in nothing, I'm being tortured mentally. Reconciliation will come. When we can solve these problems, these problems that we are faced with, Jackson. if we can solve it, Jackson. Amadou, if we can solve it, then we can reconcile. Until, the, until these problems are solved, we can reconcile. Reconciliation is very good. It's very good. And let me tell you another thing. That it will be difficult for us to reconcile this country if we cannot bring the war crime or economic code to this country. Reconciliation is, 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 is useless. We will never reconcile. Because there are guys who took guns in against the state. Are in government, are boasting around here, running around here, riding a plastic car, and those are being affected from it, seeing them going around. Like the Prince Johnson, who immediately, who dehumanized our president, Prince, I mean, and, and, and the late Sander Du. Boasting in government that nothing can come from it. You do you think we can reconcile our Prince Johnson? George Bully, who is the new man on the block in, at the National Legislature. The legislature. Who led LPC here, who was boasting on, 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 on television in 1985 that we just killed Thomas Kuwankwa. You do Thomas Kuwankwa, people are not being hurt. He led a lot of rebel into this country. Mugabe Modia into this country. Boasting, leading those men. Slaughter people in this country. Seku Damata Kone, these guys are still around, boasting around here. Until we can bring the war crime, the war crime, economic code in the country, reconciliation is useless. Because the guys are staying in the streets, they stay in government, they stay enjoying themselves after they are slaughtered us in the country. They are staying in government. So, how do you expect reconciliation to come? How do you expect reconciliation to come when you guys are staying in government? We shouldn't be mocking of reconciliation in the country. The solution, one of the major solutions to the re uh, uh, war crime uh, uh, reconciliation is the war crime code. Wow. When we can settle the war crime code in your country, we will reconcile this country. Okay. Very, very strong, uh, very strong view there, uh, strong point as well. Mr. Willie, um, this is where we are. I'm asking the question now, um, do you think we have done enough to, uh, I mean, in terms of uh, reconciliation in Liberia? Are we where, where we're supposed to be, or do we have more to do in terms of reconciliation, since we are talking about unification today? For me, to portray my daughters, for those rebel leaders, so-called rebel leaders that we had before, we need to establish a war crime code. So with our war crime code, there will be no reconciliation being achieved? No reconciliation. When there is no not as that code is set in like during here. You said in any other back to Malaysia again, all those things that we're talking about now. Who did the war crime code can solve this problem in like during for now? Because most of them they are posting a run. Yeah. But Prince Johnson, I will hear personally a man kill my daughter in front of me, shot my daughter. Call off his truck. In my own presence, how would I see that kind of man? Say, we come here and with that kind of man. I will not reconcile with that kind of man. But reconciliation is about somebody coming to you. Maybe they're wrong you and tell you, they are not I'm willing. sorry, I realize I've done wrong to you. Most of them, they are not willing to reconcile. They are not willing to reconcile. They are still posting a run. 
How will you reconcile when you are still posting a wrong? Don't mind if I say I will reconcile. You reconcile. You want to reconcile with your brother and you are still posting a wrong. Nothing can happen to me. Whatsoever you want to do, nobody able to arrest me, nobody able to do any set of work crack code. So what are you? Man, we are not reconciling, man, actually. Reconciliation in Liberia is a very, very, very hard topic as well to discuss. Because um, I remember um, during the war, I was here yeah, 10 years in the midst of the civil war. And this issue came about when, before the Akusumura Code actually was finally agreed upon, uh, we did this kind of a hurry, hurry taking of arms from the children, from the fight of it. But I didn't see any, any process of demobilization where you clean somebody. And then from there, you bring them, you put them somewhere that you can give them a second chance in life. I wouldn't see that. Uh, today we're talking about reconciliation, we're talking about national unification. Personally, so far on this planet since we've been a year, do you think we have done enough as people of Liberia in terms of celebrating reconciliation among ourselves? No. In our own level, the issue about reconciliation, we have done nothing. When it comes to reconciliation, we have done nothing. Like my silver, like I said, people, you know, like slaughter people in the world, they are still passing around, boasting, enjoying our government, our country work. And, you know, making money out of people. So the only way the idea of recognition, reconciliation will be, you know, celebrated in our country so that we can see world powerful. In my own man view, people that, you know, kill people, fight war, one person I can give credit to, uh, in person or, you know, there's the only person that is waiting that when they bring war crown for today, I'll be the first person. I'll be the first person because I want to be our example to the younger generation that coming after. I want to be our example to the younger gener generation that coming after. So I want to set our example. You know, before people come from the back, they start doing things. People keep wearing really passing around with guns, enjoying our country immediately. Oh, I'll go in my country, nobody can arrest me from there. It will hurt. When you finish killing my father, you kill my mother, then you make a mockery out of me, it will hurt. Actually. So the issue about reconciliation, we as Liberia and Liberia as a country, we have done nothing. Wow. Now Liberians, uh, fellow Liberians, uh, continue with your comments. Those of you that are making comments, continue to make it. Um, we're going to be here for the next couple of minutes as well. We're trying to get um, the diverse view with respect to this day. Day, um, National Unification Day uh, in Liberia is a national holiday as well today. And as uh, as we discuss Liberia here, I mean, with these diehard Liberians and of course uh, internalists as well. Uh, right now, as we speak, the president is also in a dialogue. His government are in a dialogue with those guys that are planning uh, the June 7 uh, protest as well. So, in my own understanding, is a is an extension of that particular dialogue meeting we are also having here uh, with these uh, wonderful, wonderful librarians. I'm gonna, we're going to switch a little bit from the uh, national unification uh, aspect to another important uh, of course, uh, issue that we all can discuss. Uh, all of you continue to uh, put your point in as well. Uh, we'll read them later and then I'll, I'll be able to respond to them as well. Let's talk a little bit about the Pan June 7 protest. Um, this is a national club. I mean, let me, let, me, let me put it away. Since I came, I came to Liberia, uh, I've been hearing about this protest. And the momentum is somehow, I mean, just getting up. And it got to, this, to the point now that today, as we sit here today, uh, the president is also having discussion of dialogue with the uh, those are planning the process. From your own personal uh, view, as far as uh, whether you're taking democracy into perspective or you take, you're taking um, what, rights uh, into, into personal perspective, uh, what are your thoughts on, the, on, this, on this issue? Uh, which side are you on? Well, the, the issue is not about side. Uh, as I said earlier, it is the right of Liberians to assemble 
mm -hmm. peacefully. Yeah, it is a constitutional right. Like I said, if you are disenchanted, that is the way they feel the channel, they are this the national government from issues that they feel that are not right. But in as much you, are, you, you have the right to assemble, it should be done in a very peaceful manner. Because if anything go astray, then you'll be called to check. But as I said, uh, what the president is doing is a very right thing. Because uh, looking at the current situation we are faced with, on a very serious note, things, things are tough. Even those that are good for the employer, so to speak, meaning people that are working, out of both private or, or, or public, it's not easy. You know, in Liberia uh, or Africa, we have this dependency uh, syndrome, where if one is working, we have like ten or fifteen persons attached to you. Yeah. And uh, where in the economy, the prices are a high, exchange rate is fluctuating, uh, on a very serious note, the life will be challenging. But in as much as uh, people are planning the protest, it is a right. <laughs> For me, I, I will not tell anyone not to protest. If you think in your right mind to protest is the right thing, you go ahead and you you, you, you will carry your grievances to the president or the world to hear why you are protesting. People will say yes, indeed, I think we're on the right in the country. But for me, uh, I, I think we like what the president is doing. Let that, that, that dialogue continue. Because we, we saw protests, what happened in uh, 1978, uh, 79. We saw what happened uh, in the 2000. And so we don't want to go. People will say we'll be peaceful, but we know. I know how we Liberians are. And again, one of our uh, loyal to us that uh, the, the three countries in the world people are taking mentor. Uh, he talked about Liberia, he talked about uh, Somalia, he talked about Haiti. And you know, people will be, uh, and you know, Confronted, some people will be giving a slight talk on the side, and the man will leave the group and want to go fight. And other people too will want to join him. Why? Why they are engaging the fight? That is where violence will come in. So I know how we well, how we handle issues here. We are not ready mature to say, oh, we will move in a peaceful manner to go to whatsoever we, we want to assemble to uh, you know give our grievances to the people that our voices or voice will be heard. So that like what the president is doing, let him continue the dialogue. If uh, if they find it expedient that maybe the discussion can but I know, I know and I know by his, by his grace. I know there'll be a very fruitful discussion today. And I know some of these issues that the protester uh, I face with and they want to bring up these reasons for the president. I know some of these issues will be addressed in a subsequent time, even in the nearby future. So for me, uh, I, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to call our people to get on the street because you know I know how we can handle issues. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me to, let me straight to you, uh, William. <clears throat> the protests are. Uh, According to what I heard, uh, even one of the guys that organized the uh, Honorable Yaka Kolba, I understand he went in some part of the counties to actually promote uh, the protest as well. Uh, the decision by the president to call for the dialogue today on this National Unification Day, do you think it's out of fear or out of good way gesture as a true leader that wants to see reconciliation? For me, I don't just believe that, you know, and just do it peacefully, just out of fear. That's happened out of fear. If this president believes in his own man, mm -hmm. he tells those guys in court that he was going to protest, he, he would have waited, you know, for him to lick like this. So they have no fear behind him. Dialogue with the police. He told the police, the protesters, that you are not even going to see them or drink. They are not even going to drink. Change your mind. Yeah. That these are some of the fear that make him, you know, call in those guys and tell them, yes. You know, you know, say the advice or the intelligence and say, man, go and listen to what you are going to tell. Yeah. These are some of the things that you know he's looking at. But I don't get to feel that he didn't really. Let me go to you, brother. Um, leaders, uh, leaders lead. 
and leaders take uh, always take the front seat in terms of making decisions, the sound decisions are supposed to go across the board. The president decided that, look, I mean, my people are causing noise. My people want, they want to get in the street. They're not happy. So let me call them so that we can actually find out what, is, what do they want, the grievances and things. Um, don't you see this as it is in good faith in terms of celebrating democracy and oneness? Or do you see the other way around that perhaps the president is, is in a deep fear? Fear. That, that, that is a fun word, fear. Now, uh, let me retrospect. There are guys in the 80s, from the 79, the 80s, when Doe took over, he put 13 of our citizens on the post, slaughtered them. And all of fair, this, en uh, this enchanter, they joined the butchers in the broad world. Mm -hmm. They felt that that's the only way they can express the grievance by breaking war. Fine. Now, look, guys, who are organizing the June 7th protest said that we are not going to the butchers. We are going to use Article 70 of the Constitution that gives us the right to protest. It gives us the right to protest. Article 1 of the Constitution says the power is inherent in the people. They will have the right to what? Author the leader. If the leader or leaders do not live according to what they were put there for. And the author of the constitution is talking about through the electoral process. Now, fear. I will say the president has reached the point that he is afraid. He is afraid for the, the for those records that he has set while he was still playing football. He was named as UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. He was named as Peace Ambassador by Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Mm -hmm. These are fine records. He worked so fine. He worked so fine. He, quote unquote. I won't say fine because what fine would be maybe relative. He had, he had, he had, he had, he, I pressing. want to say he had peace, jamboree all over the country. It's from pressing to pressing when you say the word fine. Whether he works, I mean, he works fine, it's from pressing to pressing. So um, you're fine that the, I mean, the word fine you're using that the president works fine, yeah. I may say no. So the word fine is become relative in the, in the contest. But I said, I'm saying that he was appointed by peace ambassador by the president of the Republic of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. He did what he could. Now he is looking at these records that he has set at Peace Ambassador. Now taking what the mantle of authority, the mantle of authority, then you get a group of Liberians just within 14 or 15 months time marching to the streets and telling the president XYZ is not being put into place. XYZ needs, needs to be put into place. That alone places a severe dent on his character. That is the fear of the president. That is the severe, severe fear of the president. That, oh, Mr. President, you were once a peace ambassador. Why is it that you are taken as a president? You have the mantle of authority, but you came up with, you, with quote unquote slogan, change for hope. That whatsoever happens on, I mean, happen on Ellen Johnson's leave won't happen on your government. So you change. Change is just to take, take one thing from so and put one thing from so and bring in new one. But I want to say the word change become relative. The word change become relative. That has from person to person. So change now. So whatsoever any date, I won't do it. <laughs> so it's change. Now we are on hope. Hope is uncertainty. So we don't know what is in hope. It's uncertainty. We don't know what is in hope. Now, there is a serious fear that the president has. And I just said, due to those, those laurels, those titles that, been, that was bestowed on him, he does not want to have a dent on those two titles. So, the president came from, 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 from the UN. He entered the country and he said, there are Liberians who are at the UN using all kind of statements, marching to the street, break by our money. And he used Liberian slogan, song, they say, be there, God, be there, be that, I will worry. And the president said, we are enemy of the state. Now, a president who wants to reconcile his country cannot use that kind of statement looking at your people who voted you because they're the enemy of the state. And that word enemy of the state is Dijara. It's very hard for a president to use that word again. His people. So you don't pretend that you want to reconcile. They're using your kind of statement against your people. 
The same president, when after he met the Senate two weeks ago, he said that he wants to dialogue, but he has no intent of meeting with those uh, uh, guys that are planning to the protest. What are you using all these words when you want to come put, you want to bring people together? Are you coerced? And I believe that the president is coerced. It is not from his own thinking that he wants to bring people together. But he didn't coerce because where he, where he had reached, Article, Article 17 of the Constitution gives the Liberians the right provided. The provided. You don't go above Article 17 by finalizing properties or destroying your country. But when you march peacefully and express your grievance to the president, you will be heard. But the president is just pretending. Right, uh, we stay here. Um, today is National Unification Unification Day in Liberia. And let me say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you're just joining in, Tina, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, it's great to see you on the platform once again. Um, uh, as usual, as always, uh, uh, please continue to share to share with uh, with your you know friends and family as well that uh, want to uh, join us as well. You can also you free also to share to make any comments that you want to make. Uh, but mind you, you know my platform that done. Use, uh, I don't accept Sunday school words, right? Let me come to my brother. Um, what talking about checking balance like that? You know, uh, when you're giving a responsibility, when people give you responsibility, these are the same people that will check and balance you. If you are making some mistake, they, these are the people that will tell you, oh, I think you're making a, make, you made a mistake over there. Can you see whether you can go back there to the drawing table and set it up? Looking at what we are hearing today on this National Unification Day, the president have decided, said, look, my government is concerned about the plan protest. Perhaps he's, he's, he has acknowledged to say, yeah, I know that the prices of things are going up. The rate is, is going up every day. I know my people are not happy. But guys, I don't want you guys to go in the street. Hey, come, let's talk. So perhaps he's trying now to uh, recap on the responsibility that Iberia just, show, uh, just told us here. He was given responsibility once upon a time a peace ambassador for Liberia. So he tried not to use those skills and knowledge today on this particular day to bring those guys together and stop the protest from, from happening. As far as this gesture is concerned, is it a sound of weakness from the president's side or is it true uh, he's a true re reconciler? Uh, thank you again. I would not like to say or I agree to think that the president is coerced or a sound of weakness. I would say 100% no to that. We are him all. We made mistakes of time. Yeah. But yeah. In, the, in the time of our mistakes, really? okay. we must also be able to do all our mistakes that we make. Now I mean, you're true human. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if my recollection can set me well. Uh, in the United during the late president Joe regime, you know why protests or uh, people marching in the street dead in your country. Eh? Why they say market calm down, market calm down, uh, the country will move, uh, country will move. Uh, 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 you know why it did well in this country. And the president was here at the time. So in your own wisdom. The kind of way the protest is intensifying every day, every blessed day, every blessed day, over social media, you know, and in our own country. You know, not a day in this Liberia, not a day in this Liberia. For me, let me give my own standpoint when it comes to the protest. No, I'm asking personally, yeah. Let me come to let me give my own standpoint. When it comes to the identity of protest, our Tatos Maritoba are hundred percent not in the favor of the protest. Support. Why? Just for more reason. Mm -hmm. In La Bureau, you got two, or let me just say three, three groups of people in La Bureau. Okay. You got the Nete Liberian, the American Liberian, and the Congo Liberian. Do you, do you think we still have those uh, divisions? People still have that mindset. People still have that mindset. The three types of people that we have in La Bureau. The Congo Liberian, the American Liberian, and the Native Liberian. We will still have in our mindset. So, in my own layman view, I say no to that June 7 protest. It will not be good for Liberia as a country. And we, as a uh, 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 people that live in Liberia. So, what is, what is your fear about? Is it you think it's going to turn into something 
Are they want to expect it? That the house people will property will be, get damaged or what is it that you are afraid of? My fear is this. You know what can lead to protest. We may start it good, but to end it, it becomes difficult. Well, people say our oh, are going around Morocco and asking people about uh, uh, they, they, they protest for the for the money. Lord, see, and it, it, it went peaceful. So it, it went peaceful. Okay, yeah. So I, I, I want to. Our crime code protest went peaceful. I want the front runner when it comes to that bring our money bar campaign. Yeah. I want the front runner bring our money. I hold a placard on the front. But yeah, then they June seven protest. I said no to it because I can't remember the day when in which they paying people ten ten dollars writing names down to yeah go protest. I can't remember that day in our country. You are your brother. I started living in like all I've gone before me. Can you give me a day? No, not a day. Uh, they pay people to go protest. People wake up wearing it to jump in the street to go protest. But this identical uh, protest, people are spending their resources. And like I just said, the people that are in the front, they you know, to, to refer to them, the Congo Liberian are the ones that are mastermind in the protest. Let me be frank with you. On this reason, I don't agree to that June 7 protest. Wonderful. Congo Liberian. Wonderful diverse view here. I don't know who's trying to get on the platform. Let me see. Lincoln, uh, all the way there from Nimba. Actually, uh, sorry, um, but just uh, let me deal with the platform here uh, as well. So let me switch the camera around. I'm coming now, but we're coming to the close of, uh, but uh, what I want us to close on is this. Uh, we want, I want us to close on um, the subject of the Liberia Electricity Corporation. Uh, since I came, I've dealt with LEC twice on my platform. And I have written the management. I served the president of the company. Uh, I want to get your view on it. I will give analysis on it, and then I want to get your view on LEC in general. And then we we'll close. But let me come to you, uh, uh, brother, and, uh, and get your view as well as far as uh, what we discuss in this concern, especially the issue of uh, uh, unification and the issue of the planned protest in June 7. President calling for a dialogue. What a brilliant day to call a dialogue. National Unification Day, bring the people together and talk about Liberia. Um, from your personal pers uh, pers uh, view, the same question uh, goes to you. you. Do you see this as a sign of weakness from the president and the government side? They are so much afraid. Uh, but, or you see it as a means of him being a true reconciler where he said, well, no, you know why? My people, and you understand why going on. Prices are high. People are paying too much for transportation. But please do not get in the street. I am concerned about your life. In the life of your children, which side are you? How, where are you going to take us? So? Thank you. And tell us your name so that the My people are watching. Us. Ephraim Hutchison. Uh, I was born in Liberia and raised in Liberia. I know I'm a Liberian. Uh, we have been through a lot. Uh, our president, being a, a peace ambassador, he's just trying to exercise some of this. Us. Some of his skills, then. Some of his skills. Mm. Because this particular June 7th uh, protest, I'm against it. Totally. You are a witness. Series of protests in Liberia, and I know what it leads to. Yes. Liberia and people are very complicated. You cannot understand. Today, we are on this side. Tomorrow, we are on the other side. The issue about the president calling for a reconciliation on this day is to prove to us that he should reconcile. Liberia are the same people asking the president to be harsh or to get hard. Now, if he gets harder, we complain. He soft, we complain. Please let us not take this softness to be his weakness. No, it's not weak. It's not a friend. The president is not a friend. The president is just exercising his skills as a peace ambassador. At the time, we were fighting warrior. Why were he not afraid to come here to go in the bush and disarm? You are part of the disarming process in this country where all other political leaders or politicians were afraid running away. He chose to come to his country, Liberia, went into the bushes and disarmed. That is an example of some excuse. Mm -hmm. Now, taking the mantle of authority, we took the mantle of authority in a very broke economy. Now we all are facing it. 
This issue started since 2014 when the Ebola hit Liberia. This is where we begin to face the economic breakdown. Now, he's the president of Liberia. We agree. Everything that happens falls directly to him. He went to him, and yet, since you are the leader, you have to straighten it. That will be realistic. It just uh, maybe 30 or 40 months <coughs> since he took over. You don't expect everything to happen at the same time. It will happen bit by bit. And one thing he struck on doing a campaign is uh, a, a formal uh, focus will be roads, roads connectivity in this nation. And as I speak to you, it's ongoing. That's why the economy has it. The roads connectivity is ongoing. If you, if you, if you, if you drive from here now, come down by road. You don't have to come back on the road to hold over. You can remain back there until you hit Ralphie. You can be back there until you get on Ralphie Road to go. You go to Balanve, same way. Looking down, same way. The road connectivity is ongoing. Okay? Even I was just in the interior the few days, I was in Basel, I went. All right, uh, let, let me hold you there a little bit. And, um, I, I really wanted, for, I just want us to actually focus on the, on the nuclear of uh, what we're talking about, unification okay, okay. and talking about peace and reconciliation for Liberia. I'm going to hold you there and then come back uh, on the driving table. So let's, let's, let's see whether we can, uh, we can conclude on this note uh, as you are going around Liberia. Um, I came recently, I've been talking about uh, the Liberia related to the corporation. Uh, this question uh, will go to all of you. Uh, you can just uh, answer it uh, from your point of view. And my view or what I've seen so far about this company, to me personally, the Liberia Electricity City Corporation is supposed to be the you know, one, number one company that we're supposed to rely on as a government to give us more money because everybody will need electricity. Even how poor you are, especially if you want to set that coal to or coal, you need electricity. And when that meter is up there, you gotta put money in before you get. It. And when you put money in, where's, where's it going? It's going to everything. So, I mean, from one customer to two hundred customers a day, that's huge money coming back to life. Unfortunately, this is not happening. And I, I even incited uh, uh, something where I say, look. Uh, if NC actually, if the management was quite sensible indeed, even as far as where Femetal is, or even the RI, because if LEC, if we give electricity to RI, we make money from RI. If we take one land from here and carry all the way to Femetal Hotel, you know how much money we'll be making? We make a lot of money from them, because they don't want to go, even if they only have one customer for 24 7, there should be electricity. In there. So we make good money. All the hotels, yeah, I've been going around hotels, some of the big hotels, asking them, you know, are they getting a source of power from LEC? They say, oh no, we use our own generator. <laughs> so to me personally, uh, I, as a concerned Liberian, I feel that uh, this company is losing us so much money. When in fact, uh, citizens themselves are crying for electricity and they want to pay for it. I call on the government that we should privatize this company. And I want to get your views with respect to uh, the LEC in general. What are, what are your thoughts about LEC uh, in general? Do you think it's, it's about time that we, the citizens, but we, we, we stay on it, uh, we should consider giving it to maybe a private company or we should continue to have it like that? Let's, Let's hear your view. You know, uh, I thank you again. Uh, as I say, or I always tell people, uh, we need to prioritize LDC because the leadership is not ready, and they are they are unable to take responsibility as managers. Where in the world? You run electricity corporation, even in Mosserado, 
Mozzarella, I'm not talking about outside. There are districts in Mozzarella, people do not have electricity. And on a very serious note, I have told them in, in the yard, over and over and again. I thank God I have the platform today that my voice will be heard and seen to every part of the world. Government need to prioritize LEC because if LEC is prioritized, you will, Liberians will benefit immensely and the taxes that we the taxes that we, 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 we pay or those premiums that we pay, the taxes will go to government. When one has problem with his electricity, within the truth of an eye, you you have people to your own steps and will solve it with, with no difficulties. But, but on on the contrary view, I tell you, it's a, I don't let it, most time when discussing LEC, I, I feel right to the extent that I don't even like to talk to anybody on LEC because the same people who around here call themselves a uh, LEC workers and so forth, they are the one that causing serious problems for government. Mm -hmm. Government has given money to LEC, EU, but at the end of the day, we don't know where the money falls. So, I mean, so, the bottom line from you is that... Yeah, we should prioritize LEC because uh, I would feel that we are unable to manage LEC until... When, when, when you have good managers, the issue of electricity that what you talk about, that we, we have uh, the Hamilton Hotel, there are other hotels or other institutions around here who want for it. Because running for it on the generator is very costly and, and time intensive. Because waking up, putting the generator on, putting the generator on, all these things, people don't have the time. But if you have a current from the high room and at an affordable rate, the issue of current theft will be minimized. Okay. That's it. Advice for you on LEC. Let me go to my brother X, straight across there as we wrap on this uh, uh, topic uh, for today. National Unification Day in Liberia. Let's say um, somebody told me anyway. A lot of people send me messages uh, saying happy. I don't know what I should be happy about. Uh, maybe yeah. No way. But welcome. Uh, LEC, your plan, your your general overview. What has I mean? Feel free to actually even disagree with me as well. My what I shared here and uh, what I wrote about to the president and management. What are your personal thoughts as a concerned citizen? LEC, we may ask, what is the standpoint now of LEC? Is LEC run by the government or is LEC personally run by other individuals? I say this to say that there are people in LEC there. That have mortgage LEC wow. without knowing, without the concern of wow. the government. Yes. Now, if I want a current or LEC land, I go to LEC, I pay for it, register and, and, and do everything. And come. I will wait for over six months. I can't get it in the middle. The problem of LEC derived from LEC itself. This is why you see they are not making money, the government is not generating the money that needed to be generated for LEC. This is the problem we face with our own electricity generation. Sometimes ago they said, oh, they are all the face the uh, hydro, and uh, now current will be going all over in the city. Where in Monrovia, Central Monrovia, they are part of Central Monrovia. LEC is not reaching them. People are complaining. People are complaining. LEC is still going on the generator. Why they say they have the hardware? At times, LEC will go for in the morning, two, three days, before you see it. So now you go today, you on the tomorrow. I don't know. We just confused about this whole LEC business. Hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah. Serious issue. Okay. Now this is it, um, uh, viewers. Uh, uh, those of you that are following, uh, I think I will take, I will read your points. Uh, the moment I, I go, I go around the LEC issue, because uh, this is paramount to each and everyone, like every every Liberian as, as well. Because um, 
Electricity is also security. Where your country is dark, you have security threat. So that's why we're talking about Yeah, Let me come to uh, my big brother as well, and, and uh, we all do respect as well. LEC issue. Um, wh where do you stand on it? I I'll give some analysis here. You, I also obliged to disagree with me as well and say, no, let's no, no, not forget about privatizing it. Let, maybe let you in the management. Maybe you can go there and manage for us. Where do you stand? Well, your view, I accept your view, and I just want to expand on the view. I'm in 100% support of what you just said, but I can expand on it. Mm -hmm. Is it like Bureau's problem has become compound complex? And LDC is one of those problems that we are faced with. You know, I listened to the managing director of LDC long ago that the reason why they are not using the hydro or power is not going to run the hydro is that the top bank is out of water. And it was during the dry season around January, February, March when he used that statement. And I jokingly went on Facebook and said, now, if, if it is true that, according to the managing director, that the top bank is out of water, since we are about 4 million people, let every one, every librarian citizen take a bucket full of water and, go and dump it in the top bank and we'll get power to come to the city. That's a joke on Facebook. Now, when you get amateurs, power. This is what you get. When you get amateur power. This is what you get. Look guys at LEC. They are just joking. They are never serious. When you see power tech is at the highest peak. To the extent that the president have to get involved. It is because of those guys at LEC. Now you see the distribution of power in this country has been paralyzed. Meaning, you know the poor society we have in Liberia, like only member can enter in that poor society. Yeah, yeah. So if you are not a member, you can't enter in that society. That's why your point now what me have been paralyzed. You go LDC, you want to pay for a meter, as long you don't have someone in that system, you won't get it. As long you don't have someone in that system, you don't bribe, you won't get the meter. A light is life. The man wants life to survive. You know, we from the Christian background, we say Jesus came into the world our light of the world. So light is life. You cannot have a man who is running his mobile phone, his mobile phone uses uh, current. His refrigerator uses current. And he doesn't have current. And the current is there at LDC. They have the meter there. But when you don't bribe the system, you won't get current. So what do you expect the man to do? The man will get the current by any means best possible. It Causes for him to steal current, he will steal it because he's not receiving what he's supposed to get. The guys at LEC, at the C, they are very, they are the one that causing this problem. <laughs> How about those guys? I mean, one, of, one, of, one of the clergymen said that, one of, one of the renowned clergymen of Liberia said that the guys on the pickup make money more than the entity. The guys on the pickup make money more than the entity. You know why? Because the entity refuses to give a meter out to its citizen. So the guys on the pickup have their, their, their meters in the community, give it to the guys in the community and they supply current and they get their money. Because why? The entity is not serious. So the government is losing everything. The government should lose. The government should lose. Because the writing is not put into a proper perspective. So the, the question now, the question now is, is, should we continue in the trend or should we give it out to a private company? I will support whether we should continue in the trend. Like be, the, 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 the electricity needs to be turned over to a private company to manage it. A private company to manage it. Because we need to trust your guys at LEC. You don't trust them. So the private company takes over LEC. And if the private company takes over LEC, the private company should see, see to it that Every household in this city and around the country has what well, electrical power. Because they will run behind you to say, okay, yeah. you want current? Yeah, I yeah. want current. Yeah, yeah. So let me go, let me, uh, as we draw down the curtains, yeah, let me go to uh, below, uh, Willie. Uh, your personal view on LEC, is it time to say, well, you know why? We, we don't, we, we can't do what this is. We can't do what the manager, let's give it to a private company. Or let's just continue with it. Where, where do you stand? For LEC in Liberia. Mm -hmm. From the management up to the sweeper, yeah, the private. Oh. From the 
management down to the sweeper, they are the problem. To my belief, they got their agents, the managing director alone be aware of it. In every community, they get their agents selling current. At the end of the month, they carry it directly to the managing director himself. They receive that from Every month, in those communities, they have it. People buy a car, check for the managing director in those communities. You go and pay for your meter, to go and get your meter. You take almost three or four months before you can get your meter. They are on the field now. Somebody they are on the field, when they climb on the pole, they say, according to the land again, who kill police and money behind them. When they climb on the pool, they collect the wire, they see the wire, they take it back and go and sell it to those boys and that. They got all the fee that they're getting pussy for. What is it? See, those things, how will it, how will the government benefit from the current thing? The government will test on rules and losses every day. This thing is what they have been in So for, for, for me, I see a Nazare, you know, to Nazare, for us to just give it to one private company so everybody can benefit from LEC. But when we leave it with this managing director, so called managing director will get here now. That bureau will not cross over and you see nothing. Nobody will get current like that. Right. All right, guys, uh, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good afternoon once again. Good morning if you're just waking up and uh, we we'll see you on this platform. This is Justice Forum Liberia. This time around, right in Liberia, it's where I'm broadcasting from. Uh, we're here today yeah, on the National Unification Day. We did, and we were supposed to come together. That's the same thing we're doing here. We're coming together. So the president is doing it in the executive mansion right now. No, I can say executive mansion annexed. That's how I call that place. But our president stayed displaced. Brother, let me see. Uh, where do you stand? Uh, fit for purpose or other ways? Uh, let me give my own standpoint when it comes to the issue of electricity in our country, Liberia. Mm. Uh, we need an open market system. Uh, let me get the a physical example. Uh, in early regime, uh, last thing, you were in a for a long one year. You know, at times, sometimes you will get your money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, to just get your cement, it will be difficult. But still, they brought out other companies, cement companies. You know, the issue of cement, no shortage of uh, cement in our country. Mm -hmm. So, the idea should, we shouldn't shift the blame or only LEC. Yes, but they are the problem. But then the leadership, and when I say leadership, you know, the president, let the open uh, the, 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 the competition, let the bring companies. That would distribute the, 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 the electricity more, you know, peaceful citizens. Yeah. Everybody wants to get covered, like my brother said, you know, uh, life is life. So let me just open the market. The issue of power tech or electricity, everything will be minimized. But LEC, I don't care how president gets into the logistic. We don't want to implore the rightful people that is also implore. We will stay in counter problem. 100 years to come, we will counter problem. The peaceful and easier solution to this problem is open the market system. Open the market system. If LEC want to get money, they will put more people or they will do the right for thing. So it shouldn't be our LEC. They should open the market system from our own standpoint. It shouldn't be our LEC. Open the market system. Right. Uh, the open the system because uh, across the world, even where I am in the UK, we have dozens, over a dozen of companies that provide electricity. Today I will spend two years with one company, I see another one gave me cheaper tariff, I moved there. And they, they gave me electricity, they gave me uh, you know, uh, heating in the house as well. So I agree with my brother as well. I mean, when you open the market, the people will come in. And in fact, if there is competition, they will have maybe two, three companies that will be on the ground and say they want to provide you know, electricity for yeah. Obviously, it, 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 the issue of uh, power tech, yeah, everything yeah, will, we're not be sitting here be talking about it. Let me take some of your points just yeah, before I leave you uh, because I'll go back to my, uh, my colleagues here for them to actually uh, give yeah, the departing statement. Sorry I won't be able to call all of your names, uh, but let me see if I can uh, read some of your uh, points. Uh, not sure I will read all of them because um, let, me go, let me go down the bottom a little bit and see thanks for all of you who joining in. Timothy Sonnyball Smith, he says here, uh, I mean, support of the establishment of war and the economic crime crime code in Liberia. Thank you so much, that's uh, Timothy. Uh, let's go down a little bit. 
the U.S. rate in Liberia is 180.5, uh, according to Timothy uh, Jr. There, probably in his area. In my area, is uh, uh, as I passed right before the president house this morning, it was 183. Okay, um, so I get more than you. Okay, uh, Harrison Bajibo said rural connectivity should be the excuse for the messy economy blunders such as hike in price of basic commodities and unstable exchange rate. Uh, thanks for your comment, Harrison. Uh, Amos George, let me see if I can expand your comments. Emma George says, yeah, watching from the USA, uh, uh, please, your, your guests, we are tired hearing the same old song, the president took over a broke economy. That is excuse. The president has a jet plane building for the nine units, $25 million, $16 billion missing, $20 million from the uh, reserve. It is necessary to have the protest. Uh, so, uh, from the state there, Yvette uh, Siva say LEC water and sewer should be privatized. Uh, let me repeat that. Yvette is watching to say LEC water and sewer should be privatized. So, uh, that's a support there from uh, our brothers and sisters there. Mori Kazama, welcome as well on the platform. Uh, it's great to see you as usual. Um, let me see. Okay, save the. Okay, Monique. Uh, Green uh, says yes, save the state uh, seven. Okay, uh, we're going to wrap up on this note because I, uh, I'm going around from here to hear diverse view from Liberians on this day, uh, unification day as well. When I leave, we should continue celebrating. But let me just go around the table now for your brothers and your sisters. Uh, oh, yes, I'm sorry, your brothers to say uh, goodbye to you from here. Let me, run, let me come back to you. Finally, uh, what do you want to? The platform today. Well, it's, it's a good thing to be on the platform. I just want to encourage all Liberians that, uh, to say happy unification day to all of the Liberians, both in the diaspora and in Liberia, and as we await uh, the discussion between the president and the guys that I want to stage a protest. We hope that. Uh, we should have, we should resolve to an amicable resolution that uh, Liberia is our common front. I also want to encourage all of us, we should not, uh, despite the difficulties, we should not waver, we should remain consistent and let the love start because uh, if we are hopeless, it means that uh, we have given up. We should not give up, we should continue to fight. You know, uh, Gradually things will change and go for the best. Yes. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you on the platform. Let me go uh, all the way there. I may send my camera outside there uh, to our brother who also uh, say a few words, uh, departing words as well. It was a pleasure having you on the platform. Uh, your brothers and sisters are watching all over the world. Uh, what's your final message on the platform for today? I want to say thank you very much for this big platform. I just want to urge you all to continue to pray for peace. Peace is the best way. Violence cannot solve a problem. So let us just wait and listen. The discussion will be held between the president and all of the the protest, the people that are paying the protest. Uh, I hope that there's a be a, a good outcome from there because the Bureau here, violence, you know what we are going through. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say thank you for blessing me. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me come back to my brother as well. Uh, finally, on, for this uh, occasion, we might come back to you maybe another time as well. But for this day, uh, what do you want to share with your Liberians, uh, both at home and abroad? I thank you very much for your platform. Uh, on this day, in the vacation day, it is the day that set aside 59 years ago to bring Liberians together bring the citizens of this nation together. And we should hold it as it is, 
and the intent should be met every every year. <clears throat> to the protester, what I support or not, I support the constitution that gives the protester the right. I support the constitution, the article that gives the protester the right. To the LEC, prioritization is the matter of must. No trust in that LEC that we're not managing it. Prioritize the uh, um, prioritize LEC. When you are prioritizing LEC, it should be divided in your compartment. Certain group of companies should be responsible for distribution of power, this installation of, 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 of meetups. You know, if you if you break that into compartment, the will not be on the company. But if the company is not doing everything to do, it will be very difficult. To this day, I pray that every one of us, like Vivian, come together and observe this day. That the meeting they are going through with the president, the guys are meeting with the president, that they can come up with, with a solution, and the president should listen to those guys. Because R. Kelly says, when a woman is fed up, nothing can do about it. The president keep around a loving president. 14 countries out of 15 countries voted him. So you should know that the country is for him, and the people love him. So that he respect the view and do what he was put there for. The Hindu are wise, man. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Indeed, Mr. Willie as well. Let's hear uh, finally what message do you have for all of us. I submit it to the protesters. When it is done peacefully, it is their constitutional right. But any evil what is behind that I'm not in support of that. But what is done peacefully, it is their right. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, finally, um, your, your department is given for this particular time. Thank you, Mr. Marshal Kakio. We are very here in Ebra. I am very happy about the day. The president is trying to be a good way on the president to you know, restore the sanity of the day. And the uh, unification day, we are all observing the home. The issue of our reconciliation is a serial attack uh, to all Liberians, be it abroad or in Liberia. We, as a younger generation, we have to fight the issue of our reconciliation and pass it on to our, our own generation. The issue of our LEC, we shouldn't be our LEC, it should be our open market system. Uh, the problem of our power there will be minimized. So, by the only way, everybody will be our electricity in our country. But to the protester, I am not in support of the identical protest because their problem is say they want you know, the setting make it to the president. So if the identical president is waiting, you know, I pray that their discussion should be put, uh, fruitful and while they want to discuss in there, any money that it gets to the president, you should work with it and they should go in the street. Because we know what protests can do in a country for history. That's my standpoint. Thank you all, Liberia. Well, uh, wherever you are, thank you so much for uh, joining in. Thanks to all of you who actually uh, contributed as well, as you share on the, on the platform profile like that. Uh, and we're coming, coming to you live from Monrovia. Uh, in fact, uh, where we are is uh, uh, the lecture. Yeah, Shaw Airport. 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 So we're right here at uh, Admiral Street, uh, between, uh, in fact, right opposite um, uh, Nelson Street. Yeah. So it's, it's a pleasure. But, um, this is it. The unification day, uh, before I close up, uh, uh, to me, there's a significant attach to this day. And, uh, but what we are, we are losing here is the fact of the matter that our leaders, uh, our leaders that took the mantle of authority to ensure that this particular day and the day itself is protected are not doing it. Uh, given the fact that the 14 years of uh, civil madness that took place here, uh, the, the division is still quite huge, and we haven't done anything much in terms of how we can actually bring people together. This is why we continue to hear things. When you listen to radio here, sometimes you wonder whether we are brothers, we are sisters. You wonder how, or why is this person saying this to the other person in an open way? Why is this person being attacked on social media? So. To me personally, Unification Day 
uh, the, the, the purpose of it has been missed out and we are not actually doing it. And I think if we want to continue to keep this day, to celebrate it, to commemorate it, we should come up with programs. Every year we should have a specific topic. And because of us, for the whole government to go to one particular county and have bring the school children together, bring our children together, do some performances that can promote peace and harmony among ourselves, that can send a message out there to our children. The children can learn something on that day that, look, it is bad to, 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 to cheat. It is bad to corrupt. You know, these are all issues that can bring about togetherness. Because if I gave you a job, if you, are, if, if you gave me a piece of job to do uh, as a manager in this particular company, and I'm carrying out, you know, my practices there, all of the company will suffer. And from one employee to the whole generation of that employee family will suffer. So that's corruption. So on, on this such a day, National Unification Day, for me personally, I feel that uh, we need to do more, first of all. Uh, we need to re, uh, reawaken it, bring it to the people. And it, it shouldn't be a day that we can just say a national holiday and we don't have no programs at all. No, it shouldn't be. The dream, then, then that means the dreams of those that actually brought it to life are not being realized. And this is not healthy for all of us. Uh, and everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next time you hear from me, hopefully, uh, tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm embarking upon uh, going around the streets of Monrovia tomorrow. And let me let, let me let you know, I am on LEC back. Until we can do, until the government can do something about LEC, I am on their back uh, for now. But for today, happy, happy, people are telling me here to let me tell it to you. And all of us here will say to you, Happy, happy unification day. And may God bless Liberia. May God bless the continent of Africa. And God bless you all. Bye-bye for now.